billions of years of natural selection have created the perfect data storage technology, DNA. One gram of DNA can store more than 200 petabytes of information. A box full of DNA could store the entire internet. Imagine using DNA to store our data. We would never run out of capacity and the information wouldn't degrade for millions of years. This could lead to an amazing breakthrough, DNA computing. Natural DNA stores information in four nucleotide bases. Synthetic DNA conveys information by rearranging these bases in chosen orders. Phosphoramidide synthesis creates short synthetic DNA molecules, or oligonucleotides. To create longer molecules to store more DNA, we use a printer. Think of oligonucleotides as unique ink colors. Using the CPC method, we mix colors to create shades that encode data efficiently. Arranging oligonucleotides into a table, 12 base colors across three layers create 64 shades, 64 identifiers. With 110 colors, we could store over 256 gigabytes. Reusing identifiers, we could store the entire internet. Computers store information in binary. Each DNA identifier represents a one and its location. Class without an identifier are zeros. Then, a DNA printer deposits oligonucleotides onto webbing and uses a ligase enzyme to join them together. After printing, DNA storage requires no electricity, making it incredibly energy efficient. To retrieve information, synthetic DNA is placed in packets of silica with attached metadata. Fluorescent activated sorting uses glowing molecules to find and bond with the packets. Extracting these packets, we sequence the DNA to read the files. Since DNA is a physical medium, search happens simultaneously across the entire storage. It's like mixing two liquids. Every molecule in the liquid interacts with every other molecule at once, making DNA searches incredibly fast, faster than any other system. It's a breakthrough.